check that the substrate is solid and compact with an appropriate control device. In order not to compromise adhesion, it's necessary to clean the concrete accurately, remove dusts, incoherent parts, oil traces, waxes and any other damaging substance. Spread a thin layer of primer tack on the old floor with two crossed coats by using a fine, medium sponge roller. On highly absorbing surfaces, dilute primer tack one to one with water. Lay the floor within 24 hours and before the primer gets hard and loses its tackiness. Pour clean water into a container. Pour RT Universal or SPM Auto Bagnante in the container with water. Mix by using a low rotation agitator to obtain a homogeneous and smooth mixture. Let the mixture rest for a few minutes and then briefly mix again. Lay the prepared adhesive with a notched trowel of a suitable size, according to the tile size to be laid. The floor to be laid needs to adhere to the adhesive. Press it vigorously with a trowel or a rubber hammer. Respect the joints in laying stage. For floors bearing heavy loads, use the double buttering system. That is, spread the adhesive on the concrete and on the back of the floor tile. Double buttering system can be avoided by using SPM Auto Bagnante. It's possible to seal tile joints after approximately 24 hours. Pour clean water into a container. Pour the sealing powder Sigil Color Gotcha into the container with water. Mix by using a low rotation agitator to obtain a homogeneous and smooth mixture. Let the mixture rest for a few minutes and then briefly mix again. Fill up the joints, spreading the sealing paste with a rubber trowel in cross direction. After approximately 20 minutes, check the consistency of the filler and clean. After applying joint 100 correctly inside the joint, seal by using Elastogum Collabile. Apply Polyflex 520 on perimeter joints, baseboards, columns and pillars.